Subscribe. Do it now. Hello, everybody. This is Dream of a Year for a special Jurassic World Evolution 2 video. And we are in what I like to call the Apex Arena. And we're doing like a little, we're doing like a mini game. So we have six of the most ferocious carnivorous dinosaurs from Dinosaur King. We have the Sauropagonus, Cacodontosaurus, Giganotosaurus, Mapusaurus, Spinosaurus and T-Rex. And they're going to take part in a series of challenges to determine the ultimate apex, the true dinosaur king, as they say. Right, and I'll quickly go through each challenge. So in here, that we will test the cruelty as we have a bunch of baby Maya. So to pass this test, they've got to consume and kill every single baby Maya in this paddock. Once they do that, they will move on to this level. The key in this level is to kill Mama Mayasaurus. And you must also destroy one of the vehicles, and it has to be completely destroyed. Yes, this will probably take the longest, because I've done this numerous of times already, off camera. And this part, the carnivores seem to struggle at this part, always seem to take the longest. Right, moving on, we have our third challenge. Taking on the Deinonychus Gang. So the key to pass this test is to kill at least three of the Deinonychus. Once an Apex passes all three trials... They will move on to this arena, where we have a glutton of herbivores waiting to be killed. So yeah, this will be a point system, yeah? So you want to get here as fast as possible to rack up the points, because whichever Apex has the most points and survives will win, and will become the true dinosaur king. So the point system will work as follows. So you will get one point for a prey kill. So that's these Gondwana Titans, the Joborias, stuff like that. And two points if you ki if you kill any of the other dinosaurs that can fight back, even the little Lexivosauruses. So the key for the apex is here is to get you as quick as possible. And if an apex racks up five points, they get to take on the big bad boss, the ultimate, the supreme, the awesome, super duper creation of my own making, the, the Hamalus Rex. Yes, a super-sized Hamalocephaly has given up the grass in exchange for meat. And yet, you expect to see this guy on the Nexus. And yes, I have I have finally posted some of my stuff on the Nexus. Finally got some stuff there. So I hope you all appreciate that. Right, without further ado, let's get let's get on with this, shall we? And let's begin the trial. So pit place place your comments down below. Which one of these apexes do you think will win? And I should point out, if an if one of these apexes die, then they will be disqualified, so you have to survive. And if an apex does kill the Hamalus Rex, that apex will win straight up. And you need to rack up five points in here to challenge the Hamalus Rex. If the Hamalus Rex does survive, though, then we will. It'll come down to which dinosaur has the most points. And well, already the baby Myers are feeling the wrath of the apexes. Oh, oh the Giganotosaurus getting in there. Killing one of the Baba Hamalocephalus, Baba Myers. And yes, once the last apex has cleared the Deinonychus challenge, there will be a 10 minute timer. Forgot to mention that. Right, I think that's everything now. <laughs> So strap yourselves in, we're going to be in for a while. So who actually has the lead? So they've all killed a baby Maya so far. So we're pretty much neck and neck. It's only really when we get to this arena that some of them will start to pull ahead. Ooh, here we go. Cockerodontosaurus about to ch chomp down on a baby Maya. Oh no, run, run little fella, run. Oh, no, no, we got him. Nom, 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 nom. Spinosaurus getting on the act as well. So I think that means that Spinosaurus and Cock do have the slight lead. Except for this one who's sleeping. Ah. Oh. And yes, this is a new addition. The Mapusaurus. I, I do believe it's part of the uh, mods I put on the Nexus. Actually, let's look at the traits. See if the traits will make any difference for these guys. So what do you have? Ooh, you have a large appetite. So that might help you here in, well, in this challenge anyway. Intolerant and first quenched. Hmm, interesting. Oh, oh, Mapusaurus finally getting in on the act. Little bit behind this, dude. Let's see what you have. 
Oh, hang on. Yeah, the Giga is... Is that the third one? Oh, no, it's not. But the Giga and the Matrosaur is lagging behind a bit. Okay, what do you have? Oh, you're just aggressive, so I could help you against the cars. What about you, Giga? What do you have? Oh, you're intolerant. Ooh, interesting. Again, I could help him with the car challenge. Okay, you just have a large appetite, so... Hmm. Might struggle there, the Kark. Spinosaurus. Okay. Defensive. Good good for combat in the long run if it gets that far. Antisocial. Intolerant. T-Rex could be a good one to watch. Ooh, Sorofagonax is going to be the first one to get a crack at the cars. So Sorofagonax is in the lead. Moving on to this zone now. As will Spinosaurus when it finishes the Baby Meyer off. Which it does. So Spinosaurus and Sorofagonax, the first two Apexes to make it this far. Ooh, and it looks like the T-Rex is about to join them. Um, um, um. Boosh. Mapusaurus, Giganonosaurus, and Kakarodontosaurus still lagging behind a bit. Right, we'll see how this plays out. Although, as I said earlier... Ooh, hello! Spinosaurus wasting no time on the vehicles! But as I said earlier, it does take a while for one of these dinosaurs to destroy cars, so plenty of time for the other Apexes to catch up. And Kakarodontosaurus is about to catch up. The third baby Maya has been consumed, and that means the Kakarodontosaurus can move on to this arena. Right, Giganonosaurus finishing... Oh, Giga and Mapu finally passing this first test. Ooh, well the Myasaurus is about to be c killed by Spinosaurus. Can he finish the cars off, though? Oh, he's got to line up the animation. Oh, he went for the car, but he did destroy it. But the Myasaurus is going down. Well, that's part one done for the Spino. Ooh, Kakarodontosaurus hunting the Maya now. But nowhere near vehicles, though, so... Yeah. Unfortunate. Ooh, no. Oh, he's struggling to light it up. Myasaurus putting up a fight. Cockroodontosaurus has been a bit slow there, but there it goes. Down she goes. Oh, look at the soul fagulets. Oh, he almost destroyed that one. Oh, oh, he has destroyed it. And that will count, I believe. Sorofagonax destroyed the vehicle while hunting the Maya. You know what that means, don't you? The Sorofagonax gets to advance to the Dynonyx Arena. Ooh, that does put Sorofagonax in the driving seat. Oh, the Maya saw it. the T-Rex killed the Maya. So I think it's just Giga and Mapusaurus that have yet to kill the Mayas. Oh, look at that. Imagine it. Go through the gate. You see the Spinosaurus is roaring at you. It's like, oh, you! Run! <laughs> oh, the Mapusaurus on the hunt for some Maya. Can he destroy a vehicle at the same time? He'd take a giant lead. Well, he'd be second to the Sorofagonax, but he will join the Sorofagonax in the Deinonychus arena. It's lining it up, lining it up, lining it up. Struggling to line it up. Ooh, he gave a little tap to the vehicle. Ooh, is he going to destroy this one, maybe? Nope. But the Myasaurus goes dead. Oh, and the last of the Myasaurus is about to die. Yum. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I tapped the vehicle but didn't destroy it. The Giga ran right into that vehicle. Probably would have destroyed it because it has taken damage already. Hmm. Unlucky from the Giganontosaurus, but he does take out the Maya. Ooh, here we go. Finally, the Deinonychus decides to take on the Sorofagonax. Ooh, well, the, how will the Sorofagonax fare? Well, he's faring quite well. Oh, look at that! Wait, did he eat him out the arena? He friggin' threw him in the other enclosure! Well, that's quick. 
Well, he's technically still alive, so we have to put him back. What's he got? Major fracture. Oh, he's gonna die. So, yeah, the Sorofagnax is gonna is gonna advance. Wow, the Sorofagnax has a massive lead now. It's gonna be hard to stop him. Yep, I think this is the end for the other two Deinonychus. Are you dead? You're definitely dead. Oh my god, look how far he eats them. Oh, you're okay. You're dead, and you're probably about to die. Look, at it, it's just not even phased. Boosh! And that means, ladies and gentlemen, the Sorrow Faganax gets first cracks at the big arena. A chance to rack up a lot of points here. So, yeah, unless the Sorrow Faganax is killed, it's probably going to win. And these guys are still in here. Because they can't destroy these cars. I mean, the Sorrow Faganax had no trouble destroying the cars. But these guys, well... Oh, there's our first point for Sorofagonax. Wasting no time killing the the uh, Lex of Asaurus. That's two points. Ooh, this vehicle has sustained damage. Can the Spino finish it off? Come on. Please destroy the vehicles. Wait. Oh my god, this Sorofagonax is not stopping. What are you killing now? I think he's going after the Gondwana Titan. Oh, bless it. Oh, look at, it, look at his little feet go. Run! Faster! Faster! Oh no! It's catching up! Oh no! Oh no! Nope. <laughs> Down it goes. Killed and drowned. Well, that's a prey kill, so he only gets one point for that. Oh, oh there, goes an there goes a para. Sorofagonax getting another point. Another two points, actually. And that means that the Sorofagonax is now able to enter, take on the big boss. So while these louts up here are slacking off not destroying vehicles, the Sorofagonax could win it right now. And he gets to take on the Hamalus Rex. Okay, okay. I've run out of patience with the uh, these carnivores not destroying these vehicles. So I've decided to push them on to the third trial. But as punishment for their naughtiness, I'm minusing five points from each of them. Yeah, it's, it's just not going to. They're just not going to destroy them. They like tap them, but they won't outright destroy them which is annoying <laughs> so yeah i think it's fair that i can move them on here so it just make this a bit more interesting to say the least i mean the sorofagonax still has a huge lead and he still gets first dibs at the uh, hamalus rex although is that necessarily a good thing oh he's eyeing him up and remember if the sorofagonax dies it does get disqualified and it will finish in last so let's see what happens. Oh, Marlis Rex gets the first, but I should say, should the Sorofagonax lose this fight but survive, it will go back in the big arena, and it'll have to rack up another five points before it gets another chance at the Hamalus Rex. Hmm, putting up a good fight, but it is Hamalus Rex reigning victorious. So I think the trick here is to get all the Apexes in this arena to chip away at Hamalus Rex, and whoever kills Hamalus Rex will get 50 points. I should also mention that if an, ape if an Apex kills another Apex, they will get 5 points. Oh, oh, there goes a Cychania, so that's, another, that's 2 points. Ooh, he has been injured though. That is a That could be a problem for him. And a surface wound, and it does cause him to lose health. So he's in a bit of trouble here, the Sorofagonax. Might be in a bit of a pickup. Might have to stop hunting for now. I mean, at this rate, there's going to be no bloody herbivores left by the time these guys get here. <laughs> ah, here we go. Ooh, and it's Carcharodontosaurus. Completely unfazed by the Deinonychus ripping him to shreds. Wait, it's not even phased. Is it? Yeah, alright, alright, get off. Wait, is he going to die? Oh, four of them against him. The hum. Oh. <laughs> well, that was quick, and it's Carcharodontosaurus wasting the lot of them. Right, that means Sorofagonax is about to receive some company. And Carcharodontosaurus joins the party. Now, this is interesting, because the... Oop. Oop, the Deinonychus are taking on the T-Rex. Let's have a look how this plays out. I mean, there's four of them, but yeah, I've made sure that the Apexes don't get killed here, because that would be a bit embarrassing. 
Oh, he did that one. Oh, look how far did he throw? Oh, oh the fence. Is it dead? Oh, the Giganonosaurus Whee! fighting the Dinosaurus. Oh, almost threw it over. Hang on, he did throw it over. Threw it into the Spino enclosure. And well, it did kill three of them, so we will give the victory to the T Rex. Right, we've got Giganonosaurus fighting the Deinonychus, and it looks like. Oh, I threw him up the fence. Oh, look at him. Look at him go. Get him. Oh, I think that's it for the Deinonychus. Yep. Spinosaurus has wasted three of them, which is enough for him to qualify. Ooh. Carcharodontosaurus getting his first fight in this arena, taking on a para. Um. Oh, he doesn't finish it off, though. Sorofagnax not in the best shape there. This will be two points for the Kark if he secures the kill. Nom. It's taken a beat then. The power is definitely putting up a fight. Oh, lovely. The Mapusaurus is just snoozing it, sleeping it off. Fantastic. Ooh, Spinosaurus taking on Soropelter, I think. Yeah, Soropelter is a new addition to this. To my uh, army of mods. Oh, he killed them all! <laughs> that was easy. Mapusaurus gets to advance. So is Giganonosaurus in last place at the minute. Right, did the Spino kill Soropelter? Oh, no, it's Soropaganax that killed it. Ooh, not looking good, Kark, there. He's getting hungry. Look, I up the power there, I think. Failed to kill it, which could be costly. It will lose health. Oh, here it comes. Carcharodontosaurus. Looks like it's going to probably finish the job here against the para. Or maybe not. It's, it has taken a beat then. Oh, T-Rex against Pentaceratops. I'm assuming T-Rex will win. As will Carcharodontosaurus. Ooh. ooh. SPH plus Sorofagonax. Yep, there goes the para. Right, that's one. That's two points for the Kark. Oh, starving. It's got a damaged tooth. Carcharodontosaurus in a bit of trouble here. Ooh, the T Rex damaged tooth as well. Although, the Pentaceratops did get a major fracture, fracture which I don't think is fatal. Oh, no. Oh, Spinosaurus getting in on the act there, hunting down the Shunosaurus. The Mapusaurus taking a crack at the Shunosaurus as well. That's one point for him. Right, and we still have Giganonosaurus over here. So Giganonosaurus needs to pull his finger out here. Spinosaurus hunting down another Shunosaurus, I think. So that will be another point for Spinosaurus. And once the Giganonosaurus gets in here, there will be a 10 minute time. There'll be a 10 minute timer left for these guys. So they need to make the most of the need to make the most of the advantage they got of extra time in this arena. And remember, when they get rack up five points, they will get a chance to challenge the true apex, the Hamalus Rex. Ooh, here we go. It's so Faganax about to do it. Challenging the Tajogosaurus there. Has lost the fight, and that was to Hamal to the Hamalus Rex. As the poor little Golmona Titan is wasted by Carcharodontosaurus. That's another point for the Kark. Ooh, is Sorofagonax in trouble? Doesn't want to get a beat in from this Tajongosaurus. It does have a damaged tooth and Tajongosaurus survives. Sorofagonax might be in trouble here. Oh yeah, um, I should I should confess that uh, this is meant this is Zuni Ceratops with the wrong texture. <laughs> I'm having problems applying the texture to it. And I forgot to remove it. So you just have to put up with the ugly Zuni Ceratops. <laughs> That's why it wasn't included with the mods I put on the Nexus. So Sorofagnax does have the lead at 14 points. Carcharodontosaurus on minus 2. Giga still in the Deinonychus ring on minus 5. Mapusaurus on minus 4. Spinosaurus on minus 2. 3. And T-Rex on minus 5. Hasn't really done anything yet. Ooh. We're going to get these two squaring off. Remember, if you kill an Apex, you will get five points. And if an Apex does die, then they will be disqualified and finish last. 
And well, if all bar one of them dies, then that one will win by default. And Giganonosaurus, for some reason, is still up here. Oh, it is getting hungry now, so... It is in big trouble, and this Deinonychus doesn't want to attack it. Ooh, hello! Mapusaurus taking on Spinosaurus! This is this will be interesting. Mapusaurus getting a hit there. Ooh, a few wins. They're weakening each other, though. It's not good. And the Spinosaurus, like it usually does in my Battle Royales, wins! Oh, oh there goes the Zuniceratops. That does put Sorofag give Sorofagonax another two points. Which means it's ready to challenge Hamalus Rex again. The Gondwana Titan. Oh, bless it. Run, you little pudding. Run your little legs off, your pudding. Run. I don't know why you have white seams on you. Oh, no. It's, it's no match for a spider. Look at it. Nom. Nom, nom, nom. Ah, finally. I think the Giganonosaurus is finally ready to join in on the act. Actually, yeah, no, we'll give him 10 minutes. We'll give him 10, we're giving him 10 minutes. But can he, all he needs to do is kill one of the Deinonychus and then he's done. But he is starving, so he's in a bit of trouble. Okay, he's, okay, that's it. Giganonosaurus will pass this challenge and is ready to move on to the big arena. So the countdown begins. 10 minutes left for these guys now to rack up points. Oh, Mapusaurus is about to kill another Gonwana Titan. There goes Tajongasaurus. T-Rex getting his first kill in this arena. Oh, the Mapusaurus has taken an absolute batter in. Look at it, towering over the Gonwana Titan. He's lining him up slowly but surely. He's lining him up. Oh, bless it. Oh, he's lining that one up, I think. Oh, oh, here we go. Sorofagonax taking another crack at Hermala's Rex. Is this the end for the Faganax? Doing some damage. Having the cuddles. Sorofagonax taking an absolute beating. And it is defeated again. So that means he goes back in here and he's got to rack up another five points. Well, four points because he got the two before. Oh, he failed the hunt. So Mapusaurus, in fact, failed the hunt. Ooh, a clash of African apexes here. Cock going up against Spino. And of course, Spino gets the... F Spinosaurus is going to win this, isn't it? It's going to somehow win. Okay, what is that dead over there? That's the uh, Portosaurus killed by Giganonosaurus. So Giganonosaurus getting in on the act. Two points. Spinosaurus yet again defeating one of the other apexes. And 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 inflicting a minor fracture on the Kark. So that could be costly for Karkirodontosaurus, that. Wait, are you... Oh, you've got surface wounds. So you are going to lose a bit of health. And you sleep in. Right, oh, Mapusaurus finally got its kill. So yeah, Sorofagonax still has a huge lead, but all that can change. Oh, wait, it's dying! Wait, it's gonna die! It's got laceration, when did that happen? And well, it's if it survives when the time's up, it will win, but we're at uh, just coming up three minutes, so I don't think it's gonna survive. Sorofagonax is gonna die! The fights with the Hamalus Rex have taken its toll. Maybe it was a bit too eager with the other Apexes were strategic. So, so far, we have Kark and Spino in the lead. And then we have T-Rex, Giga and Mapusaurus level on points. But, you know, that's going to change very quickly. What I will say is an opportunity for one of these Apexes to get an easy five points if they kill the Sorofagonax. Oh, oh. Ooh, this could be interesting. The Kark has taken a beat then. Still, still too strong for the Cychania. And that, in fact, will give Karkirodontosaurus the opportunity to take on the Hamalus Rex. He's racked up five points. Well, zero, because he had mine a, a five-point penalty for not doing the second challenge, the cars. Oh, Spinosaurus picking an easy fight against Pentaceratops and killing it instantly. And that will, in fact... 
give Spinosaurus the opportunity to take on Hamalus Rax. Ooh, Giga taking on T-Rex. Oh, look at this! Where has this come from? Giga Nonosaurus gone! Out of absolutely nowhere, the T-Rex takes the lead. And that is five points for the T-Rex. And Giga Nonosaurus finishes in last. Which means both Spinosaurus and T-Rex will get the opportunity to fight the Hamalus Rex. Or each other. Wow, that was intense. And Giganonosaurus is going to finish in dead last. So, if you place your bets on Giganonosaurus, it's over because it's dead. As will be the Sorophaganax in a minute. And actually, it is dead. Sorophaganax has joined it. So, despite having an impressive run, the Sorophaganax finishes fifth. Well, at least it didn't die first. I do think the Giga died first. I'll have to double check the recording, but I'm pretty sure the Giga died first. So that is it. Giganonosaurus and Spinosaurus got. Here we go. Cacurodontosaurus taking on Hamalus Rex. Oh, not good for the Kark. Is it going to get four? Oh, the Kark's gone. No match for the brute power of Hamalus Rex. That, ladies and gentlemen, puts Cacurodontosaurus in fourth position. So our top three are Mapusaurus, Spinosaurus, and T-Rex. And so far, because it killed the Giga, the T-Rex is in the lead. Spinosaurus in second, Mapusaurus got a bit of catching up to do. But he does have this arena to himself. Up, oh, up, oh, he's going to pick off a Zuniceratops. Um. Two points for Mapusaurus. We have got under three minutes left. Can the T-Rex hold on for three minutes to claim victory? Well, they want to fight each other. They don't even want to take on the Hamalus Rex. Oh, oh, here we go. Mm, get, I bet Spino will probably get the first hit. It always bloody does. Oh, of course Spinosaurus gets the first hit. And Mapusaurus is going after a Joe Borea. T-Rex does get the next hit. Not good, though, because it will have to fight Hamalus Rex before it leaves this arena. Surface wounds and a damaged tooth. Ooh. Well, this time, could Mapusaurus snatch it? Right, where is Mapusaurus? We are approaching the final minute. Oh, Mapusaurus is going to kill off another Zuniceratops. And that, in fact, puts Mapusaurus in second place. So it is above the Spino. And it gets to take on the Hamalus Rex. But will there be time? We've only got 50 seconds left. And yes, I'm fast forwarding it because I want some action. Oh, oh, is this T-Rex dead? Oh, game changing moment. The T-Rex going down to Hamalus Rex. And that has in fact put Mapusaurus on the brink of winning. And in fact, there's five seconds left. There's not time for a fight. Mapusaurus is going to win it. And that's it for the time. That is ten minutes on the dot. Mapusaurus, our winner. The true dinosaur king. And well, out of nowhere really, because it was pretty much in last place, but it racked up the kills in this arena. It avoided facing Hamalus Rex. And well, it won by default of the fact that the T-Rex died. So the T-Rex will get third. Spinosaurus will finish in second place. And our winner is the Mapusaurus. With three victories, three kills, well, ten kills. Counting all that lot up there. Three victories and one defeat. And it's taking on the Spino. Ooh, he wants to be last man standing, is it? He is taking it on. Of course, Spinosaurus gets the first hit. I mean, this is null and void because Mapus, the time's already up. Too late, Spino. It's too late. I mean, the T-Rex killed the other... Yeah, Spinosaurus won. They're always bloody wins. I'm intrigued to see if any of these two can take down Hamalus Rex. So I am going to play it out. So, pop comment down below. Did, did you enjoy it? 
Would you like to see more stuff like this? Maybe I could do it for herbivores as well. I'd be interested. Or maybe I could do it with like smaller carnivores. Hamala's Rex taking a crack at the Spino. Let's see if even the invincible Spinosaurus can beat it. Oh, he gets a hit off. Nah, nothing's beating this Hamala's Rex. It's, absolute, it's an absolute juggernaut. Wow. Not even Spinosaurus can defeat it. Hmm. Maybe Hamala's Rex was a bit too powerful. I definitely have more fun little game mini games like this planned. So look forward to them. And until next time, this is Stream Gamer. Oh, hang on. Nope, nope, nope. We're not signing out yet. We'll see if Mapusaurus can kill Hamala's Rex. Did it win? Nope. Oh, it's got lacerations. So it was going to die. I'm st I didn't... Oh, oh. That, maybe that's why. Maybe I made you a wee bit too strong. And yes, expect this guy on the Nexus soon. <laughs> right. Anyway. Where was I? Oh yeah, signing out. So till next time. Ta-ta!